to create a fraction game in Scratch Junior, we're going to start by opening up Scratch Junior on your iPad. And once you open up Scratch Junior, tap on the Home button. We're going to make a new project, so tap on the plus sign. And right away, make sure and save your project by tapping the yellow trapezoid in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to name this Fraction Game. And then I'm going to hit the check mark. And just to double check, tap that little home icon in the upper left-hand corner where it says Scratch Junior. And that should take you back to your main menu and show that you have saved your project. So my iPad's a little slow right now, so it's trying to catch up here. Hopefully it'll get to the main screen here in a second to show you that we have saved our project. There it is right there as Fraction Game, so I'm going to go ahead and go back into it and start adding my slides. On the right-hand slide, I'm going to add four, three more slides for a total of four slides. And on the first slide, I'm going to go back to that and get rid of Scat Scratchy the Cat, and I'm going to add some characters here. So I'm going to scroll down and find some pictures of some animals to use first. So I will make a rabbit in there, and I will use a pig, and I will also add in A chicken and one more I'll add in a dog and so my question is going to be about the number of legs each animal has and remember we're practicing fractions so I'm going to tap on the ABC at the top and I'm going to say what fraction of the animals have two legs? And notice my text is a little bit too big, so I'm going to tap on those three A's and make it a little bit smaller. If it doesn't change for you, just tap on it again and try again. And it looks like that's going to fit. So what fraction of the animals have two legs? And I'm going to have three responses. And the way I'm going to do that is by adding a character. I'm going to hit the plus sign underneath the dog. And this time I'm going to click on the blank slide. And then I'm going to tap on the paintbrush. And I'm going to make a real nice thick line in red. And I'm going to say one fourth check mark. I'm going to add another character. Tap on the blank canvas and then tap on the paintbrush. And I'm going to do three fourths. And I'm going to tap on one more character, and I'm going to put one-third. Now make sure when you're adding these characters that you write in the correct answer. In this case, what fraction of the animals have two legs? Well, one of my characters, my chicken, has two legs. 
And so one out of one, two, three, four animals have two legs. So my one fourth is actually the correct answer. So I'm going to click on one fourth. I'm going to program that to say, good job. So I'm going to start with a yellow programming tool and I'm going to say when you tap on one fourth, I'm going to grab a purple speech bubble that says good job. And I might take it a step further to say one out of the four oops four animals has two legs. Period. Oh, looks like I'm out of room there, so I might need to abbreviate or use a number instead of a word. So legs, period. And then hit go. And if that's the correct answer, then I want to make sure that my red ending takes me to the next slide, which is slide two. Okay? So that's only for the correct answer. I'm going to program now three fourths, which is the incorrect answer. So when you tap on three fourths, I'm going to use a speech bubble that says try again. and go and this time I'm just going to use a regular red ending block and then for one-third same thing one-third is the wrong answer so that when you tap one-third we're also going to say try again with a speech bubble and then we will end that with a red ending block so when we go full screen to play the game, what fraction of the animals have two legs? Okay, if I tap three-fourths, it says try again. If I tap one-third, it says try again. But if I tap one-fourth, it says good job. One out of the four animals has two legs. And then it takes me to slide two. So I'm ready to program slide two. So just remember that on each slide, you want to have a question. You want to have some objects, whether that's animals or types of sports balls or uh, cars, anything you like, and then make sure you have your answers programmed to either tell you the right answer, good job, and take you to the next screen, and then have two wrong answers that say to try again. You can experiment with some different uh, programs down here at the bottom, like if your player gets a correct answer, you could make your one of your animals jump up and down. But um, for right now, just focus on the basics of building four slides with a fraction question on each slide.